Hi, I'm Carl Schilling, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, why we're different and how we're different than most of your uh, financial services professionals. When I uh, started the Advocacy Network, it was uh, probably about uh, uh, almost 12 years ago, and it was with the concern that there had been a huge amount of financial victimization in the marketplace. Now, all types of financial victimization came um, in total about $400 billion a year, okay? And those all came in the, in the form of um, uh, scams, fraud, and most, most sadly was predatory sales tactics. Some form of uh, predatory sales tactics within the financial markets. It could have been uh, brokers, uh, stock brokers. It could have been financial professionals running Ponzi schemes. Um, it could also be um, just poor advice uh, with annuities and insurance, um, you know, some uh, arm twisting and some things of that nature. Um, but to date, uh, at that point, I wrote a book called You Might Be Getting Scammed When. That's how I started the whole idea of becoming an advocate and helping people avoid financial victimization. But to date, we have helped the uh, over um, literally... Um, thousands, several thousands, uh, save $14 million that would have been lost directly to some form of financial victimization. So very proud of that. But at the same time, we also help uh, our clients become financially independent. And what do I mean by that? Financial independence does not just um, mean that you have a lot of wealth or you have uh, enough money to do whatever you want, go wherever you want, be whoever you want. That's all part of it. But also it means that you have full control, that no one else, you're not partnered with anybody. You, you have full control. You make all your money decisions. That is what we want to talk to a little bit about today. Okay. I want to share with you uh, a, a newer version of something we had done just prior to the pandemic called the Middle Class Millionaire Plan. And we were helping people do some very unique things, which now are uh, since uh, the pandemic and coming through where we are today, even more and more uh, necessary uh, what we're doing today. So let's take a look at that um, and uh, get started here, okay? So um, the Middle Class Millionaire Plan is uh, a way that we wanna show people how to create a pathway to financial independence. So let's start with a little history, okay? In 1974, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act was created. That's commonly referred to as ERISA. And that was done to protect the public against some, uh, some things that were going on in the uh, pension world where possibly you know, pension dollars were being abused and then suddenly uh, people come to retirement and would find they had no pension. Now, in that period of time, the ma vast majority of pensions were what's called defined benefits. That meant that the company, uh, municipality, you know, whatever it was, uh, government workers, it, it meant that the money, uh, the dollars were being put away with a projection towards how much um, was gonna be put away today for how much you would need to have a certain pension when you retired, okay? Um, today, uh, more of the plans are defined contributions. Very few defined benefit plans are still around, but so, you know, in states, they're around, you know, certainly state employees, federal employees, uh, municipalities, uh, things of that nature for sure. Uh, police, firemen, and, 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 and things like that still have a defined benefit plans. Now, uh, in 1978, the IRS Section 401k kind of really drove into the defined contribution world by allowing employees to put away their retirement funds on a tax deductible and tax deferred basis. In 75, just previous to that, the IRA had already been rolled out. At that time, it had a $1,500 limit, and that was only for people who didn't have a pension, like this uh, defined benefit or something of that nature, uh, or access to a pension. Um, by 1980, they opened that up to everyone. So everyone could have an IRA, whether they had a pension or not. Uh, but when we talk about qualified plans, let's make sure that we understand what we're talking about. Those are ERISA-based plans protected by ERISA. And those plans, IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, KEOs, HR10, SEPs, all these are considered qualified plans where the government is your partner. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. Now, remember, as your partner, 
the government gets to determine the tax rates. They get to determine the inflation rates. They get to determine the distribution rules. Uh, at some point, you have a uh, required uh, mandatory uh, uh, distribution when you're 72 and a half. In other words, you can't just let your money grow or anything. You have, you have to take money out at a certain amount, okay? And then there's all kinds of other restrictions that your partner can change at any time. So this is an open-ended partnership where your partner can tell you what the rules are and change the rules whenever they want to change the rules. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really particularly feel fond of a partner like that. So we talk about self-ownership and no partnership. Get rid of that partner. Now, just as a little added uh, uh, message, um, I'll show you some things that they're always talking about. And behind the scenes, your partner is always trying to create some new ways to uh, uh, possibly find ways to probably make your life a little more difficult. Teresa Ghilarducci is one of those people who believes that the U.S. spends too much tax subsidies for 401k plans, you know, um, which are obviously for the upper income Americans. And then she says uh, tens of millions of Americans with no retirement savings at all. Now, again, that's who we're talking to, the middle class. We're talking to how you can do this. You don't need the government to do this for you. But she proposed a government-run pension plan, um, a GRA, and that would be attached to your Social Security and provide additional monthly uh, income. So not only um, uh, would the government you know, be responsible on your Social Security, but now they'd have full control uh, over uh, everything, including your retirement totally. So really, here's what happens. Right now, you're trading off a tax deduction. You get a tax deduction, and that tax deductibility partners the government with you right away. You are immediately partnered with the government, so you sign the lease, and there you go, right? And now the partner makes all the rules. So we really want to show you the dangers in that partnership, okay, realistically. Um, presently, U.S. debt is $30 trillion. That's $90,000 debt per citizen, per citizen. That means your children, your grandchildren, everyone right now has a $90,000 debt hanging over their head. For taxpayers, those who are now who were the qualified taxpayers, it's $240,000 of debt per taxpayer. We are at 125% of our debt to GDP ratio. So our debt is beyond our GDP. We have 25% more debt than we have GDP, okay? And it's growing by the minute. Let's take a quick look at that debt clock, okay? You see, and you can watch these numbers. These numbers just soar. This is incredible. You get a chance to look at that. It's usdebtclock.org. Uh, really something you want to take a peek at, okay? But... Um, Let's go back to our screen share and, and uh, find our, find our, uh... okay. All right, so uh, basically uh, in qualified funds right now, qualified funds, those ERISA protected funds, uh, very non-transparent, so it's very hard to get a number on this. It's like grabbing water, but it's somewhere between 11 trillion and $23 trillion. So that's how much money is sitting in those plans that the government has partnered with you. So I got to tell you, trusting a government partner with your retirement funds is much like having a drunken sailor for a partner. When you look at that debt clock and you look at the irresponsibility and you look at the way the government has printed and spent money and it's your taxpayer dollars, but it's even beyond that, the inflation they create, it's really not a good partnership. It's not the kind of partner you'd like to have. So I would say if you had this partnership with a drunken sailor, you'd probably want to break that partnership. You'd probably want to move on on your own. So that's what we talk to you about. That's what we try to help you with, okay? The tax deduction. Let's take a look at this. Will tax rates ever be lower? You got to ask yourself, that's a reasonable question. So, you know, taking a deduction while taxes are the lowest they'll ever be is pushing your tax deferral to a higher rate. 
So yes, you're getting tax deferral, but it's going into a higher rate. This is eroding the gains that you're making. Plus, inflation is further eroding those gains into the future. So really, you're taking a tax deduction today in the lowest tax bracket, the lowest tax you'll ever have, and you're pushing it to a future higher tax, eroding the growth that you're going to get along the way. And maybe that growth is going to slow too, because most of the time, these investments are heavily uh, market uh, structured. That's pretty much all you can invest in in the 401ks. It's all based on the market. So, um, so what could tax rates be in the future? Well, at retirement, your partner, the government determines how you're going to be taxed. They determine not just how you're going to be taxed, but what rate you're going to be taxed at. So the tax deferral is erosive. And I want you to be able to see that. That's one of the things we talked about. That's one of the counterintuitive things that we have to discuss. So in our solution, we just want you to take control of your money. We want to show you how to do that. We want to show you how to pay the least amount of tax possible on all tax liabilities and all future taxes. And we want to show you how to create future tax advantage income. Some of that income will be totally tax free. Okay, some of that income is just tax advantaged, but we show you how to uh, increase your revenue, increase the growth of income, and at the same time, protect that against certain tax liabilities, okay? So this is all about building a, a, your own bank as part of it. Uh, we want you to create an ongoing future tax advantage income stream, several of them, and we want you to create financial independence, which means not just money, not just wealth. It means you having full control, you being the arbiter of your entire financial life. So how do we do it? Well, I'm not going to get into the whole dynamics of it. That's the reason why we'd have a consult. But a consult's totally, uh, it's primarily uh, non-obligatory. It uh, costs you nothing. And it's just a bit of time, 15, 20 minutes for us to describe for you how we identify all your assets and the structure of those assets. We help you determine how to redistribute those assets into classifications that have complete diversity and correlation. So you're fully protected up or down, sideways, whatever goes on. And uh, part of that is establishing a personal bank, which we go into and show you how that gets done. And then we have an annual review with a financial concierge and our tax professionals to make sure that you're also maximizing the mitigation of tax liability. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk. That talk uh, is totally counterintuitive. Uh, we come into this and ask you to come into this with an open mind, just to listen to see what makes sense. Uh, we discuss positive change and how that can create financial independence. But nothing changes unless you do, okay? That's it. it, it, it the change has to come from within. So let's set up a personal one-to-one -one virtual meeting. Be glad to lay everything out for you into, uh, into all the details so that you can see things uh, as they should be. And uh, give me a call, 321-947-3220, or we will follow up with you from these uh, webinars that we hold, okay? So I look forward to speaking with you. I want to help you reach financial independence and at the same time, make sure that you are totally inoculated and insulated against all forms of financial victimization. Because not losing money is uh, one of the first primary rules to uh, becoming financially independent. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to speaking with you uh, real soon.